Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc episode number six. All right, the previous episode. It was a fantastic episode. Um, we at the beginning of the episode we saw Tanjiro and Daki fighting. Tanjiro using his Hinokami Kagura, which uh, you know, which he thinks is like you know, it, it takes a little bit of time for him to actually get accustomed to it because there's like a lashback or something, you know, when after he uses it. So he's not continuously able to use it but unless and until he uses that he won't be able to defeat not even defeat he won't be able to like keep up with Daki so he has to do that that and also like you know like he there was like a thing where he was using his body temperature heightened body temperature to uh, be to make it easy for him to use you know Kamikagura you know that was happening there and then like in the other part um uh, Uzui was trying to find out where his wives are. He found Hinatsuru uh, and like you know told Hinatsuru to when whenever he gets the chance to get out of here and she he won went underground where we also meet um, uh, Inosuke. Inosuke is also trying to find them out. She burrows in and gets to like an underground uh, nest kind of thing where we meet an extension of um, Daki's Obi which has like an uh, like an alternate personality in itself so that was the thing that was actually talking to um, Makio in the previous episodes and we also find Zenitsu everyone is there like you know Tenzin's two of Tenzin's wives are there and um, you know they start fighting Zenitsu comes out the uh, like you know uh, Makio and um, Suma yeah Makio and Suma uh, both of them also comes out and they start helping Inosuke like a fight ensures and by the end of it Zenitsu kind of helps them out like you know like Zenitsu being asleep that was a big help for them he just zapped you know he just zapped, zapped from one place to another and cut off all the <laughs> OB pieces and in comes Tengen and now everything's going to get flashy so let's get started with this episode let's see what happens and, and now that Tengen is there everything will be fine I'm kind of concerned about Tanjiro what's going to happen with him so anyways let's get started so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go okay let's see what happens oh boy Okay. All right. Oh yeah, this okay, 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 yeah, this this scene. Yep, but it won't work. Oh my god, it just whacked him. Whoa. Okay. Oh boy. Look at the opening. Oh yeah, I think one thing I also noticed in the previous episode, um, uh, Tengen's three wives, uh, Ma uh, Hinatsuru, Makio, and Suma, three of them very much resemble um Tanjiro Inosuke and uh Zenitsu like Hinatsuru I think is Tanjiro kind of like Tanjiro um Makio is like Inosuke and Suma is like Zenitsu I think yeah <laughs> that's kind of it's kind of cool isn't it like like the the like is their personality is extremely similar as far as I could see like we saw like you know Suma kind of crying as soon as she comes out starts crying <laughs> Makio kind of kicking him and Hinasuru being the reason reasonable one 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's watch. Layered memories, okay. What? Oh, okay. What's that noise? Oh, okay, it's her. Um. Okay, um... Ooh. Oh my god, yo! What the? Wait, what happened? Oh my god! Oh yeah! back into her oh my god so she was weaker then now she's getting stronger wow she, yeah she realized that uh, like everything's over over there yep he's she's faster oh god what the Is that a demon art? Her hair, she became white and yellow. Whoa. Yeah. Dude, go back. Yo. You want you want to die? This guy. Oh my god. He didn't even re. Oh no. Run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Move! Oh my god, he's just behind him! Wait, he, he also got hurt. Whoa! What the? Oh my... I don't think he can stay calm in this situation. But, but yeah. <laughs> ah. Don't, Sanji, you're not strong enough to handle her. What the? Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, what's happening? Wait, what's happening? Oh, okay, it's the ring of woods there. Okay, thank god he kind of like, he settled down. That time he was drunk, I think. Four months, okay. Hmm.
Hmm. Three volumes. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, the sun breathing. Red mark on their forehead. Oh, okay. Oh, so that has a significance. The, the mark. Oh, wait, okay. So this is not... Oh, wait, so... Faint mark. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's, she's going away. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my... Jesus. Oh my god, her leg! I didn't even notice that! I've heard this word. what? The dad? Yeah. This is the dad, isn't it? Yep. She doesn't know. Wait, what? Then whose? Cell. Oh! Okay, so... Makes sense. Okay. So this is Muzan's memories. Okay, come on. <laughs> I was kind of excited to see what's happening there. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> it's running it's asleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, this is her past. Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, she's using her demon art. Eight layered OB, okay. Oh my god. Oh. No, there's something that's different about him currently. Okay. Oh, there you go. Wow, she's a he's actually hurting her. Oh. Oh, oh, the animation. Okay. Damn, she's sweating. What the? Oh, that's Muzan's. Okay. Damn, she's running away. I'm not running away, but. Okay, she, yo, he got her, kind of. Oh, oh boy, missed. Oh, that's why. Ah. Thirteen. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Wow. He actually, yeah, he actually kind of put them in one spot. Oh my god, okay. Oh god, what the hell? Wait, what? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, I think the the effect. Was he not breathing actually all this time? He was not breathing all this time. Yeah. Come on, then. Then again, I think this is the perfect time for him to come. Come on, Tengen! Wait, oh, it's Nezuko. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Oh, caught her off guard completely! Okay, okay, thank god. Oh my god, yeah, he's bleeding. Yeah, she's remembering. My god, what the? <laughs> Yo, 
like, what the? <laughs> uh, hmm. Monona hemp leaf pattern. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Tanjiro won't be able to fight now. Will she be enough to fight her? I don't think so. Oh. Oh my god! Ah! Oh no! <sighs> Come on! Oh my god! I think we need Tengen here. Whoa! Oh my god! Wait, she regenerated so quickly? What? Didn't she say she couldn't do that? Yeah, her whole body is regenerated. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, the thing is gone. Okay. Wait, what the? Oh, she grew up. Okay, I realized. I was like, what's happening? Okay. Yeah, what is this like her? Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Oh my god, yo, both brother and sister are like Oh. Okay. Wow. What the hell? Everything, I feel like everything happened in this episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually in animes, there's like, for one episode, there's like one transformation sequence or, you know, one person unlocks their power. But I feel like <laughs> here, like both of them, my God. Okay. Like Tanjiro got an upgrade and even Nezuko got an upgrade. But I, I don't think Tanjiro's can be called an upgrade still because that basically was something that he used. Uh, like, you know, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm sure there will be a lot of side effects after that. So it probably can be called an upgrade. Still, like, you know, currently at, at his, like, you know, level now. Like, he cannot breathe. He's, like, almost, like, you know, suffocating now. Wow, okay. <laughs> this, okay, this, is, this was the best episode of this season. Uh, up till now.
all right that's the end okay the, the little thing in the end yeah this one oh they're still running <laughs> moon zero <laughs> yeah yep i think so oh no <laughs> god a <of> festival <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> transformation. Oh, wow. Another transformation next episode. I don't know who will transform this time. Will it be Daki or will it be... Um, Nezuko? Nezuko has already transformed, so I don't know. Okay, so... Wow, this episode. My god. Okay, so, so many things happened here. Um, so, first of all, the whole thing with Tanjiro um tanjiro we see in the beginning we see the fight between tanjiro and daki as always beautiful animation beautiful like you know like it, it was done perfectly like <coughs> i doubt anything could be said at that like you know anything needs mentioning like you know the animation doesn't need any mentioning it's as good as always and the thing here is the first thing that uh, we see in this episode is daki getting back her obis um, those were the obis that were actually spread throughout this city as far as she's like, you know, she said something like that I, as far as I can remember that like these were, like, you know, in the different places so that I could control the whole city. So, so it was apparently it was everywhere. That means like this thing, not only in that nest in the, like, you know, underground place that was also co composed of those obis, but also on the other parts, like different parts of this whole city. It was there and so basically I'm, I'm guessing she was currently like you know fighting tanjiro at maybe her 20 percent power or something and since uh tengen came and cut off the obis underground saved all the people she decided to bring them back to herself and all the other obis spread throughout this city <coughs> or town whatever <coughs> brought them back to herself and she became stronger now she had like we see like a little transformation with her her um hair became white uh with the ending kind of like having a little greenish color um white hair greenish color you know tips and um yeah and she became like significantly stronger so <clears throat> like now here she she basically she shows a glimpse of her power then just uses her obi to completely wreck the whole city that whole portion all the houses were just destroyed people are dying and everything and now here's like as we can see she has this weird thing with um i don't know weird obsession of being pretty or like you know only acknowledging pretty people or pretty thing and loathing ugly people or ugly things uh i'm pretty sure that is something to do with her past i'm pretty sure of that we kind of got a little glimpse of her past i don't know what that was she was i, I felt like she was like you know like when she was a child that was like that flashback she was kind of sitting in her room and there was like a person on the floor dead and there were a few other scenes as well so i'm pretty sure that's her past and it, there must be something that kind of made her like this something maybe uh, as we've seen like you know most of the demons have like a very bad past and maybe something like her past has something to do with um being like you know this this whole thing of ugly and pretty the way she judges people i'm sure it has something to do with that uh we'll probably get to know that as the episodes go on i'm sure they'll let us know what her past is and everything else okay that and now here's uh, here another like you know interesting thing happens we see uh rengoku's dad like you know him writing letters to uh, tanjiro so they were kind of like you know um, using letters to communicate after tanjiro's dad kind of apologized to uh, ta uh not tanjiro sorry uh, after rengoku's dad apologized to uh, tanjiro he he said like yeah i was wrong like you know like and I i'm glad about that you know like that the first episode where we met him 
the first impression was very bad that he gave us you know like he was like completely drunk like kind of you know like acting like a real like in a real nasty manner but i'm glad that he like you know he kind of sobered up and he realizes his mistake like yeah like it's kind of sad you know like as they say like you you realize someone's worth when after they're gone it's kind of the similar thing to that isn't it um but anyways uh, okay so yeah uh we get to see him like you know writing to tanjiro and he said an interesting uh, in, uh, information here he gave us an interesting information that the people who use the sun um breathing technique those people have a mark i think he called it a birthmark or something yeah and, and their head now he says that that's why you know tanjiro is very strong while tanjiro here says that actually like you know like he, he was thinking like actually he's kind of wrong because it was not a birthmark that i had but it was a uh, um i don't know like i i tried to save my brother and hot water fell on me and that's why i have this mark my father did have a mark but it was very um, mild it was not that much so that's why i'm not the chosen wielder <coughs> he does says that but the thing that he does here after that 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 doesn't show that he's not the chosen one like he says that i'm not the chosen one and then we see like a sudden boost in his power which i don't know like i'm i'm guessing that's something different is that something different or is is the like there must be something going on here because like i'm sure like tanjiro wouldn't make a mistake like if he had a birthmark from like you know when he was born he wouldn't make a mistake he must have did not have anything any birthmark or something and he must have like you know as he says like probably the 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 hot water probably made that mark on him i'm sure he's right in that manner like you know, he he's correct in that information so then what what does that mean like like the the, the people who do like you know have the sun uh, breathing technique they're supposed to have that mark maybe he's an exception who knows you know maybe maybe he is like the first exception or something i don't know or maybe there, there must be something going on because the thing that she he does after that that definitely like you know kind of gives us a hint that yeah there is something special about tanjiro we don't know what it is but there must be something <clears throat> but yeah here he kind of goes completely um you know like berserk not berserk but completely like you know like like a different type of a being he becomes like you know the, the blood is like falling from his eyes and everything and uh here is when uh daki starts getting weird vibes from tanjiro she starts remembering uh, muzan's memories where we see tanjiro's dad in front of him saying the same things that tanjiro is saying currently you know like like are you are you having fun doing this what's like you know like is this so funny to you uh what type of like you know uh enjoyment do you get from seeing the other people suffer all these words that he was saying that was something that tanjiro's dad told to muzan uh in the past and the muzan cells were actually remembering it so daki did not know anything about him but Mu muzan apparently still remembers and i'm sure that's the reason why muzan tell told all the demons that as soon as you find that uh boy with the um earrings i think that's what you call them yeah the the, the rising sun i think it, it was like a rising sun a little logo in it i don't remember it's there's a specific name for them i don't remember it um those earrings you know they they're, they're called something i don't remember what it's called it has a specific term uh anyways um <clears throat> so yeah uh <clears throat> find that boy and kill him that's why he's always saying that because i'm sure he he still like you know, he probably fears tanji feared tanji was dead and that's why he like you know he doesn't want to take any risks and that's why he wants to kill off tanjiro as well who is like a successor of him <clears throat> and like it probably like makes such an impression that he remembers them so vividly that even his cells <laughs> that is within dark he's also remembering that like my god imagine imagine the ptsd that <laughs> tanjiro's dad actually <laughs> made muzan go through like even his cells remember everything my god okay <laughs> that 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 probably shows how much of a big threat uh, tanjiro's dad was towards muzan 
<laughs> and I think there's like a little part here as well when we see um, uh, Dati kind of shaking and you know her hands like quivering, she's sweating and she's like wait a minute why is my hand shaking? I think that's also part of Muzan wasn't it? Like you know Muzan's interesting, um, uh, what do you call it, fear most probably i'm not sure because like I'm, I'm saying this you know why because all this time we've never actually seen muzan become afraid of someone it would be kind of interesting if that really was the case if that really was like muzan's cell you know muzan's cells if that actually was muzan's cells becoming scared and quivering and shaking that would be kind of interesting like this that would mean that this is the first time we actually see muzan being afraid of someone which is a pretty big deal because you know, like Muzan is like the ultimate last boss or something. So seeing him getting scared is a pretty big deal. I don't know that, or that might be Daki herself. You know, I'm not sure that my, I, that either might be like Muzan's cell, like Muzan's internal danger danger sensor or something. You know, like that's why she was quivering, or it might be Daki herself. I'm not sure, but either of it. <clears throat> Okay, and um, so yeah, like he, she starts getting these flashbacks of Tanjiro's dad, and <clears throat> like we see Tanjiro being extremely fast now, just like you know, sliced, sliced off her leg, like nothing, and then like you know, they start fighting. Uh, uh, Daki is like, "Ha, huh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to like you know, like, you won't be able to do this." And he, she tries to do something, but all the time she fails. <coughs> There was a time when he was she was trying to use her obis to actually go and get Tanjiro. You know, but Tanjiro basically kind of like you know sliced them off, kind of made them go towards one like you know part, stabbed them with the sword, and like you know was like not letting her run away. Like that portion as well, where she was thinking like, oh, like what are you going to do now? Like you, know, you won't be able to do anything. You 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 possibly cannot just move from that place to here, you know, quickly enough to get me. As soon as she says that, Tanjiro just jumps, jumps and just slashes her. And she's like, wait, what? What's happening? Like, how is this happening? How is this possible? <laughs> you know, this, like, <clears throat> like I'm, I'm very surprised. So that means like the, imagine the, the power dam damage boost, uh, you know, Tanjiro got in a matter of seconds. Like, Daki is supposed to be a character who has killed, like, you know, a few Hashiras. And she's like like one of the upper moons and we already saw how strong the upper moons are you know like during that whole battle with um <clears throat> that um I, I don't remember the name but that one uh then season one the the spider guy uh, uh, i'm not talking about the mom the the one the latter one you know who almost defeated tanjiro and tanjiro like you know after fighting so much he was able to slash off his neck but still that wasn't enough you know he, he actually tricked Tanjiro to think that he died and he came back again. And then Giyu came and just helped us, you know. Like, but Giyu is a Hashira, he could easily do that. But, you know, like I'm talking about Tanjiro's power and the upper demon's power levels. It's, it's the heaven and hell difference. And I think, um, I'm not sure how, what rank um, Daki is. She's probably in the upper ranks. Maybe like, I don't know, like, even like maybe like 6 or 7 or something like that most probably and uh, or maybe she's even upper more more uh, higher than that we don't know if she's even higher than uh, seven or six then that'll be pretty impressive you know but i don't think she'll be that higher you know because yeah that that's i think that's kind of impossible but still like you know she's in one of the upper uh, kizukis and seeing tanjiro you know who wasn't even able to do anything you know up until now fighting Daki at his her full power so easily and so effortlessly actually baffles me that the amount of power boost that he got in the matter of seconds like when he was in that like you know in, in that form I'm not sure if that's like a form of him or something like he was that enraged he was just like you know casually swatting away Daki's attacks just like some kind of a fly like you know like a fly is annoying you just swat it away like that he was just doing that and <laughs> And it was nothing for him. Like he easily like overpowered Daki in a matter of seconds and just came in front of her and was going to like, you know, use the uh, final attack to slash her neck off. He did that before as well, but Daki kind of like, you know, tricked him. You know, she kind of extended her head using the OP. So it didn't work the first time, but the second time I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have worked. 
but then like you know like in 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 her in his heart this this thing happens where you know like um his brother that was his brother wasn't it yeah his little brother like uh, says that uh like breathe tanjiro you know and i i'm thinking i'm most probably he was not actually breathing all that time or something like that must have been happening because as soon as she realizes that he starts coughing and like you know breathing um, like you know heavily and he just falls down so it was probably like you know like if he actually continued that and that vision of her brother his brother did not come it, his body would have probably gotten uh, irreversibly damaged <clears throat> you know <clears throat> that's why most probably like like you know the i don't know like the the inner like you know vision kind of stopped him from crossing that line and he also like you know realized that yeah i need to breathe now properly otherwise i'll die I i'll die i won't be able to you know survive so <clears throat> he like just stopped over there started coughing and everything and now i'm i'm sure tanjiro won't be able to do anything currently because the 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 feedback that he's going to get from using that power will be intense and he probably won't be even able to move like that's what's going to happen and he just fell down and here i kind of thought maybe tengen is going to come because tengen uh zenitsu and you know scare on their way i was thinking like yeah most probably tengen is going to come now and going to help them out surprisingly nezuko comes out which i was actually saying in in the previous episode even i said something like uh i i don't know like i said something like yeah if tanjiro isn't able to handle daki maybe Nez nezuko will have to come out and that kind of came true nezuko did come out here and she actually caught daki the first time by surprise just bashed her head off <laughs> and then we get a little flashback where muzan tells uh daki to get like you know kill nezuko now i don't know why he, he said that there must be something special with nezuko going on which probably muzan knows that's why he actually told daki one of the upper six to excuse me uh one of the upper uh you know kizukis to kill nezuko because there must be something special going on with her otherwise it doesn't make sense why would he like you know say ask daki to kill her like she's she's just a demon you know she shouldn't be pose that much of a threat it is because she, probably that she poses a threat that muzan told like you know um, daki to kill her or something and that i think that kind of proves the la next scene that we see where it like you know when daki thinks that nezuko she won't be able to do anything i just you know slashed off her torso uh and even if you are a demon it's pretty difficult to get that back out you'll probably take a long time for you to heal but then nezuko just stands up everything is fine not fine but you know like everything is regenerated and that is surprised like that's why i'm saying maybe muzan actually realized like something is special with nezuko and she might become like a problem a threat for muzan that's why he told that yeah you need to kill her who knows it's just a guess i don't know but there, there must some there must definitely be something special about nezuko because it wouldn't make sense otherwise like what had just happened at that moment she, she you know she she stood up and my god that scene was brutal you know like when we see uh like i have to say props to the animation because you know like the, the you know the best thing of this this part um it is that you actually felt i actually really felt you know like the the hands and the limbs cutting off like a piece of butter like that's how i felt when i was watching that scene it's like you know like you basically you can watch an animation and animation can be great and animation can be very impressive beautiful you know it can become like that but i have to give props to an animation which actually makes you feel something from the inside when you see it you know it's like it's not only visual data it's just visual data and that visual data coming into your brain and making you feel something that oh like it must have feel this way like when when the ob came and when the ob was slashing nezuko and nezuko's hand was getting slashed off i actually get this weird gross feeling of like a knife cutting a butter that's how i felt and that's the brilliance of that animation in that portion i think like it actually made me feel feel weird 
and you know like that feeling and you realizing that that's not butter and a knife that's actually human body getting torn into pieces that made you feel this weird sensation a weird gross feeling and beautifully done i i have to like you know like give props to that that was uh one of the best parts of the animation even though it was so grim dark and gross you know it was the best part of this the animation the way they actually showed that scene and thank god there's no censorship thank god if this was actually censored <laughs> yeah so it's good now yeah as i was saying like you know like that that scene really made me feel un un uncomfortable and we see like you know when i actually realized that yeah not only his her hand but her body was also severed and the torso was just gone like like that that was very uncomfortable and really great work you know ufo table for animating that so perfectly and because it actually made me feel something <laughs> feel very weird and feel very uncomfortable <clears throat> not all animations can do that okay so yeah anyways enough about the animation so yeah um nezuko goes away uh, like you know kind of comes up and we see everything's fine she has regenerated daki's like wait what is happening here you know she isn't supposed to do that you know <laughs> she's like a normal demon how can she do that and then she transforms and I, I think like she reverted back to her adult form because you know like she when she uses puts that that thing i don't know the name of that thing the bamboo yeah the bamboo thing in her in, his, in her mouth she kind of becomes small you know like she kind of reverts back to her childlike form so when she kind of bit that off and that kind of came you know uh, like you know got destroyed she reverted back to her original form i think yeah like you know like but i don't know i feel like she became like her she became a lot more um like you know older than she actually is or am i wrong like i don't know but either way you know like she she's she she, she reverted back to her original form her original age you know and she's like you know there's like a horn growing from her head and there's this weird tattoos in her body like the, some leaf tattoos i'm not sure what those are like some red colored leaf tattoos uh maybe it's something similar to daki's you know tattoos or, or is it i think so like you know like it's just like how daki has those markings these these like you know flowers in her face and like those tattoos maybe maybe that is something like that maybe it's something that is Mm, uh, that happens to demons when they transform or something like you get these weird tattoos or something i don't know but like you know nezuko suddenly has these tattoos she's like like a little pale in color as we can see you know there's like veins going around her like you know face and everything uh her horn feels like her horn is a little bit cracked or you know like there's like little crack marks on her horn i'm not sure what that is but yeah she she has completely transformed and she is she is hell bent on going to like you know uh, defeat uh daki on defeating daki and daki did again try to like you know severed off her arms and legs but that didn't stop her she just like you know transported back behind her and in a matter of seconds her hands and legs regenerate and she just storms daki into the ground <laughs> my god all right and that's where it ends so yeah, so many things happen in this episode, you know, like uh, Tanjiro's transformation, if you can call that, I'm not sure what that actually is, but it kind of seems like a transformation. Um, Nezuko's transformation, those, that amazing battle scene, um, you know, that everything's great. Everything's fantastic. Just my God, I really hope everything, like, you know, like Tengen comes here quickly. Because I don't know how much long Nezuko will be able to fight Daki. Because I'm sure this probably is also affecting Nezuko in some way. Maybe some backlash is going to happen just like Tanjiro got. You know, like, like Nezuko might get, get something like that. So I'm sure Tengen will come within like, you know, uh, time. And it's also, it might also become morning, you know. Like I think this is, it's currently night, isn't it? Yeah, just a sec. Yeah, it's currently night. So there's also the thing about like you know the day like if if the day breaks if it if it becomes daytime uh, Daki will probably have to run away. 
तो लाइक आई एम गेसिंग मे बी लाइक होपफुली नेजू इज एबल टू स्टॉप हर फॉर दैट मोमेंट नो फॉर दैट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम अनलेस एंड अनटिल टेंग एंड कम्स और यू नो डे लाइक यू नो डे इट बिकम्स डे शी नीज टू होल्ड हर बैक अप अनटिल दैट टाइम आई एम प्रिटिश योर टेंग एंड माई विल प्रॉबली कम बिफोर इट बिकम्स डे सो इफ टेंग एंड कम्स एवरीथिंग विल बी फाइन यू नो यू नो स्के इज देयर जैन सू इज देयर एंड जैन सू इज अ स्लीप so that gives us even more power <laughs> and tengen himself is probably enough to handle daki or not not handle but maybe he'll be able to just you know fight uh, head to head against daki so yeah she 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 just needs to uh, stall for time unless and until she's actually stronger than daki like i don't know man like this episode kind of actually like you know baffled me at how tanju actually became stronger than daki for a second that actually baffles me so i might like you know it wouldn't probably surprise me if in the next episode we see nezuko is also stronger than daki currently it wouldn't surprise me <laughs> but we'll have to see so anyways that's it like fantastic episode this was the best episode of this season uh for now but yeah like let's let's wait for the next one so anyways that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to demon sayer the entertainment district arc episode number um uh, episode number 6 yes yeah, it's if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer the entertainment district talk so until then goodbye and have a nice day